In this recording, we look at how to find the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix. And the first step is for each element of A in a given row I and column J, we find the minor of each element, which is written capital M subscript IJ, so that the minor of the element in row 1, column 1, is written M11, for instance. And the way we find this is we exclude the row containing that element, in this case row 1, and the column containing that element, in this case column 1, and find the determinant of the matrix that remains. So in this case, for instance, M11 would be the determinant of the matrix 0, 1, 3, 2. And I'll work out these determinants soon, but I'll just leave it like that for now. So similarly, the minor M12 of the element in row 1, column 2 would be excluding row 1 and column 2 and writing down the determinant of the matrix that remains, which is 4, 5, 1, 2. Continuing on in this way, the minor M13 will be of the form determinant of 4, 0, 5, 3. Going to the next row, M21 for the second row first column will be 3, negative 2, 3, 2 when you're excluding the second row in the first column. M22 becomes 1, negative 2, 5, 2 when excluding second row and second column. M23 similarly becomes 1, 3, 5, 3 and using the same process M 3, 1 is 3, negative 2, 0, 1. M 3, 2 is 1, negative 2, 4, 1. And finally, just reconfirming that method, M 3, 3, for instance, excluding the third row and the third column leaves us with the determinant 1, 3, 4, 0. So this is then working out the minor of each element in our matrix. Now the second thing we need to do is for each of these minors we need to find a related quantity called a cofactor C where Cij is of the form negative 1 to the i plus j times mij. So what we're actually going to end up with then is with a matrix. So let's put square brackets around what we're going to end up with because it will actually be a matrix. And what we have is you'll notice a formula here. Cij is negative 1 to the i plus j times each of these minors mij. So since we're going to be using them anyway, I've removed the M11, M12 so that we now have this matrix of determinants represented by our minors. But to get the related cofactors, we'll need to work out this negative 1 to the i plus j, where again i is the row number and j is the column number. So this first element is in row 1, column 1. So negative 1 to the 1 plus 1 is just negative 1 squared, which is just 1. So that's just positive 1. And I'll just write a plus there to show that's positive. While negative 1 to the i plus j, for this element, we're now in row 1, column 2. So that'll be negative 1 to the 1 plus 2. Now negative 1 cubed is negative 1. So that is negative. The next one, negative 1 in row 1, column 3. Negative 1 to the 1 plus 3 is negative 1 to the 4, which is positive. So you might be starting to notice a pattern. Similarly here, negative 1 to the 2 plus 1 becomes negative. Negative 1 to the 2 plus 1 is positive. Negative 1 to the 2 plus 3 is negative. And in fact, negative 1 to the i plus j follows this pattern here. So that for the determinants we calculated for the minors, the cofactors cij are basically then the minors, but with the signs changed according to this pattern of pluses and minuses. So basically this one, the one here, the one over there, and that one there will change sign. And remembering how we work out a determinant for a 2 by 2, 0 times 2 minus 1 times 3 for the first one, for instance. So that first one just becomes negative 3. For the next one, 4 times 2 
minus 1 times 5, that's also negative 3. Because of that negative sign, whereas 4 times 2 minus 5 times 1 would have just been 3. So the negative answer is because of the effect of this minus sign out the front. 4 times 3 minus 0 times 5, that one there is going to be 12. And continuing on in that way, we'll then get the following matrix of cofactors. It's those ones we just saw, negative 3, negative 3, 12, and the others using the same method work out to be negative 12, 12, 12, and lastly 3, negative 9, 12. So that is our matrix of cofactors. I should say that last one is negative 12 for that last element. So that is our matrix of cofactor. Now the next step is we then find the adjoint matrix of A. And the adjoint matrix is the transpose of our matrix of cofactors. So that means the adjoint matrix is written adj A for adjoint, basically the rows of C become the columns of the adjoint matrix. So since the first row of C was negative 3, negative 3, 12, that is the first column of the adjoint. The second column of the adjoint will be the second row of C, negative 12, 12, 12, and the third column of the adjoint will be 3, negative 9, negative 12. The final step is that A inverse is the adjoint matrix of A, divided by the determinant of A. And the good news is that there is a rather fast way to calculate the determinant given that we've worked out the matrix of cofactors. Expanding along the first row, it's actually the first element of matrix A times the corresponding cofactor plus the second element of matrix A times that cofactor plus the third matrix element A times its corresponding cofactor. So therefore, in this case, the determinant of A is just going to be 1 times negative 3 plus 3 times negative 3 plus negative 2 times 12. And when we work that out, negative 3 minus 9 minus 24, the determinant of matrix A is just negative 36. So that now gives us sufficient in information to calculate A inverse. Adjoint of A divided by determinant of A, or more often equivalently written as 1 divided by the determinant of A, which here is 1 divided by negative 36, which just becomes negative 1 on 36, and that's multiplied by the resulting adjoint matrix that we just found at the previous step. So that is how we calculate the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. And if you wanted, you could take that fraction inside the matrix. And here you'll notice, in fact, 36 is divisible by 3, and all of these elements happen to be multiples of 3. So you could even cancel that down a bit further to be negative a 12th times negative 1, negative 4, etc., just to cancel that down a bit more. But this is the correct answer for A inverse, and that is a method for finding the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix.